morning everyone welcome back to the channel uh, we have a tea here from the mystery person this is twinings of London herbal tea wild berries it has let's see what does it say um, herbal tea with berries and blackberries And the ingredients are strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, and black currant with other natural flavors, rose hips, hibiscus, orange leaves, apple pieces, licorice root, licorice root, roasted chicory root. And I boiled the water at 175 degrees in the electric tea kettle I got from Mad Hatter Tea Review and his wife for four minutes, and I used the electric timer so that way I could get it timed perfectly. And um, it says four minutes or two desired strengths, but do not microwave. Um, some people are going to microwave it anyway, because sometimes it's, that's all you have. Okay, let's give this a go. And we've got a guest over here. The berry, the smell of the berries mixed together kind of reminds me of blueberries. Because you got the strawberry, the black currant. And the raspberry mixed together kind of is reminiscent of it. Together they kind of remind me of blueberry. It's not blueberry, but it's that a similar note, I should say. Similar set note. You can taste the strawberry straight, straight up front. With the raspberry and the black currant right behind. Um, I'm not sure about the other notes, the other herbs. They're in there. I'm not feeling very discerning right now. I have a bit, a bit of a head cold. I think my head's been feeling stuffed up, and my ears have been clogged up, and my nose, and my everything's just puffy. So what I'm tasting is what I'm tasting. I'm sure anyone else would be able to taste the other flavors as well, but. My taste buds aren't quite so discerning this morning, and my battery is saying it's at 15, so we need to wind this up. What do I think? It's a very nice tea. Again, herbal teas are, for me, um, I would prefer them, like, at times where I'm not going anywhere, not going anywhere like today, it's... A relaxing day. It's my second day off this week. Um, it's a pajama day. I literally switched from, I literally showered and put on a second set of pajamas because I knew I wasn't going to be going anywhere. Um, so for today, it's kind of nice. Uh, if, it were, if it were a work day, um, I would prefer something with caffeine. Uh, my go-tos used to be when I was younger, in my 20s, um, where the uh, Earl Grey, English breakfast, Irish breakfast, um, oolong. Yes, they used to have an oolong. I haven't seen it in forever, but I do like a good oolong tea. You know, black teas, coffee are more my go-tos in the morning because they'll get me going. Green tea works as well. So for me, an herbal tea is a relaxing tea if you're not going anywhere or you're going to go to bed. Um, so... As a nice, fruity, relaxing tea, I like it. I would buy it myself if I knew where to get it. Um, so if you can find it, that'd be great. I believe that what it was Gardenica was the distributor or I guess that's what I would call it. The site that the mystery person got the teas from and they selected you know the, the herbal the twinings herbal tea gifts gift set for me so i've never bought anything from them before i might try them myself at some point if i'm looking for more herbal teas i might give that a go um i am planning on either ordering this next paycheck from either 52 i still want to go for me with either 52 teas or grimoire because I want to stick with the theme of the channel. I've been 
trying that you're trying you know i'm going to just, uh, go back like i said to going with spooky themed with a beer when possible when i get a car again or tr reliable transportation when we can go to webster's or we can go to total um then i can get more spooky beers and get back into that and the spooky alcohol the spooky hard liquors and stuff so that's going to be hit and miss for now um so we're going to have to go with the tea and coffee that I can get online. We'll go with Spooky with those for now. And hit and miss with the alcohol. I'll get the most unusual ones I can find. They may not be Spooky, but it might be a peanut butter cup or a candy flavored or a cake flavored or something like that. And um, ice cream. I was going to get the top of t uh, the top of Tio, uh flavored ice cream. I don't know if my store still has it because I was trying to save up money for the pet deposit for my department for the cat. So if I remember and I have the money, I will get that and we'll do a, a review for that as well, if I remember. So to wrap things up, did I like this tea? Yes, it's a nice fruity herbal tea. It would be good in the afternoon or during a day when you're not, not going anywhere and you just want to kick back and relax. Um, and like I said, um, it was a gift part of a gift from Gardenica. Gardenica, I think, I believe it was. So check check them out. Uh, I might, like I said, again, at some point, not again. Um, you know what I mean. This, I might, myself, I might go myself like I did with um, Brutalities. That was gifted to me and then I tried some for myself and I liked the company. And if I want to go with more, some more herbal teas, I might give them a look myself, is what I meant to say. It is a good tea. Uh, Twinings has good teas. I've never tried the herbal teas before. Well, aside from this one, I tried the passion fruit one with the apple and vanilla. It was okay. But I'm thinking there might have been something in it I'm allergic to because it made my, my tongue and my throat swell up a little bit. So I'm definitely not going to get that one again. I'm not sure what's in there I'm allergic to. Possibly the passion flower because the other things I've had before were no problem. So I might need to leave passion flower alone and add it to my list of things that I can't have like jasmine. So I'm going to assume that's what it is that was bothering me. So on that one, it was okay for an apple vanilla tea, but I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to the passion flower. Um, so that was a miss. Um, I haven't thought about a rating system for teas. Um, I might just simply do hit or miss because for me that's probably the easiest way to go so the one I did um, and I didn't record the uh, one with the passion the passion flower with the apple and vanilla that would be a miss because like I said I'm pretty sure I might be allergic to something in it this is a hit I like it I would buy it and I would definitely drink it again I think there's like one or two more packs left in the um, bowl that I've got in my pantry um, if if I have another if I have another one of the um, passion flower ones and somebody wants it um, I can send it to you Neva or somebody I can you know stick it in an envelope and mail it to you so I'm gonna wind this up quickly and make it short and sweet if you like um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like what you see on my channel please subscribe um, feel free to share and comment uh, keep the comments friendly please um, I don't want to have to get rid of any bullies or nasty people um, enjoy your holidays again we're going into Gothmas in a little bit so I will uh, take a picture. I take a video of my tree. Put that up for day one of Vlogmas or Gothmas, depending on what you're going with. So, have a wonderful day. Happy holidays. Uh, I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.